Um, what? Hello everybody, it's Neil. <laughs> We're back with Bloodborne. I'll be honest, I was just doing some grinding. I've just been through, like, the whole castle. Just to get, like, some, um, Blood Echo. I figured I'd start and then when I, like, kill the last enemy, since I'll be, like, at this point. Oh god, is the uh, level not actually finished then? I thought I could just walk back before I just have a look around. Just in case uh, I did miss anything. Well, that looks to me like it's going to be a puzzle. Like you got to slide the blocks through, uh, through kind of thing. It's just going to take me to another boss. I claim no subjects, but here lieth our throne. Kneel for us, or get thee gone. An open summons. What, is there somewhere else I can go? Oh, well, That looks interesting. Calling someone to Kanehurst? God, blood. Visitor, <laughs> moon scented hunter. I am Annalise, Queen of Castle Kanehurst, <laughs> ruler of the vile bloods, and sworn enemy of the church. Yet our people are murdered, and we are prisoner to this wretched mask. What is it thou art in search of? Sure. Well, well. An odd hunter thou art indeed. We've tired of these piteous nights. Share in our plight and take oath against the church. If thou wouldst this path walk, I prithee, partake of my rotted blood. Mm, now, now, now that it's gone this far, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but what's the catch? Neil might have a little little look on his fur. Do wanna do like I'm at the end of the game now I feel. So I don't wanna you, you know pick the wrong thing. I mean like Okay, I think we can just do it. I think it's fine. Very well. Drink deep of our blood. Corruption, the Kanehurst badge, and respect. What's that? Oh, I've got no blood dregs. What's we a blood dreg? We wait for the honour. So wait. Oh, so that's one of those... 
last ones we can get. And a badge. It's like the emblems or something. It can be like stuff I can buy. Maybe. I don't know. I shall find out. Um, again, it was only meant to be like grinding and that. I, was gonna, I, I couldn't decide like to go for an area like that and get loads of blood echoes and spend them on blood vials. Or is it better for me to just go and like. Gammon awaits. Go. Very well. Kill enemies for blood vials. But the thing is, like, because I've got so many, I kind of want to level. Got a level of health. Farewell, good hunter. Anything? Oh, that's for sale now. Shikaj. What's that, I wonder? 50,000. I mean, that's 18,000. That's 50,000. I don't know. Evelyn. <laughs> Do I want Evelyn? Go on, my try Evelyn. Oh, gain her armor and stuff. That's like 120. That's 110. That might be better armor. Wait, anything else? I should try and sell a lot of these, really. Not really worth much. I've got so many. Get rid of all of these wands. If it with a one, then we'll get rid of. Guess that's all of them. The one we'll just buy, we'll buy some. Okay. Um, I mean, I'll just do a bit of grinding. I guess, just to get blood vials. Is it better to, like... I don't know. I don't know what's faster. I don't know. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. Right, I've gained a few blood, uh, blood vials. So we'll give it another go to see how we do. I don't know if that's going to actually do more damage or not. Oh god. Kind of feels like it's doing more damage. Fire! 
Also, that new gun that I bought, I can't equip it, so in case you're wondering. Oh, that was a one-hit kill. God, well, I'll know to watch out for that next time. Dear, oh dear. I guess what I could do is use my move that gives me more ammo. Heal. Go to more storage. Get another healing out. Or well, keep going till oh, I've also got all those like cold bloods, new bloods, whatever they are. I used a couple of them actually. Now I can use them to give me some uh, some things. Some more blood vials. I took quite a bit of damage actually, didn't it? A shooting match. damage oh, I'm totally out of bullets in that as well somebody didn't uh, take into account Trying to heal. Nah. Oh, 
Oh god, target him. healing oh no I'm just going to use this I guess this is as a result of the uh, umbilical cords moon presence. Oh god! <laughs> well, to be fair, I have no health and no heat, no chance. I hope you can blame me for dying there. I mean, what I'm really hoping is that if I just enter that area again, I can just fight it. I hope I don't have to fight, uh... Oh, don't tell me I've got to fight German again. Please don't tell me that. Alright, let's just use these. Oh, 20,000, that's nice. Also got the old hunter thing. I should see if uh, I can buy, actually buy anything. Um, burial blade. Oh, if you only way to get a burial blade to be. Oh, German stuff. Oh, I guess we'll now find out. Please. Oh, thank God. Thank God. I don't have to do that fight again. Jeez, 
so aggressive. It's got to be the most aggressive boss I've fought so far. Alright, I think I'm going to have to play just as aggressively in that case then. I can do this. Yeah, we'll um, use that first. Oh god. Nearly killed me. Oh, worst time to heal then, as it turns out. Wait, I can't heal. What? I can't heal. Uh, why can't I heal? Okay, so it turns out you can't heal like that. That's horrible, but I got health, it's health right down. I'm sure I'm probably like overpowered for where I should be in the game. Which is fine, you know, I've just been playing it as I play any other game. Do you know what? I need to look for that. Um, I wonder if I can bypass using the blood vials by using the, uh, the special one. I'm hoping it's still there. Or it might be um, a bonus if it turns out. That monster respawns that monster. Guarantees a drop of them each time. But I can only have one at a time. That'd be nice. Oh my god, he's dead and the frigging thing's not there anymore. Is it anywhere else in here? Well, how am I supposed to know? I can only have one at a time. Are you Ioseka? Whatever the, the name was. I might as well just use a Bolt Hunter's mark. Alright, I'll be right back. Right, here we go. We're going to have another try. Against Moon Presence. Yeah. 
don't know whether that was the move that prevented my uh Go, go, go. Oh, I hate when you keep choosing that. I've got waste blood vials where I just heal. Nightmare slain. Oh god, is it raining blood? I suppose actually the doll was the final boss. Maybe it is. Maybe this is what happens now. Are you cold? Oh, good hunter. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, I need to look this up. Is that me? Am I the friggin' Thing that was on the floor. The porn Wikipedia. Man. I will say this, this is one of those games where it's like, I mean I loved it, but the game does nothing to tell you the story, does it? It does so little. Like you have to find it yourself. So like, okay, there's things you have to read and all that, but you've got to piece it together. This is not like an, an easy game to sort of like really get a a full understanding of the story. Like, what did that ending mean? Um, I don't know, it doesn't even seem to be a... There we go, synopsis. There we go, I'm going to read the last part of this. If the player consumes three third umbilical cords before refusing German's offer, the childhood's beginning ending is unlocked. After German is defeated and the moon's presence appears, the hunter resists and fights it. Upon defeating the moon presence, the hunter is transformed into an infant grave one and is taken by the doll. So that's us for now a baby grave one. What? <laughs> that was very weird. But I enjoyed it. I've enjoyed Bloodborne as a whole. I know a lot of people have enjoyed the game watching me play. I very much appreciate that. Also, I just realised I took my uh, Bloodborne hat off. <laughs> there we go. Yay. Oh, that's kind of sad that I forgot to wear the Bloodborne hat for the uh, final fight. <laughs> um, but no, I, I, I quite enjoyed that. I, as I've said throughout the entire playthrough now, I get it. Like, I get why people like these games. Because all I hear from them is, oh, the game's hard. You know, um, it's unforgiving. It's brutal. And, I mean, this is uh, like, you know, I'm just going to say as it is. I don't think it's as hard as what it's been built up to be. Especially because uh, there's a leveling system. If it's too hard, I'd level up more. I, mean, I don't know, maybe I leveled up too much towards the end. So I seem to be doing a lot of damage towards the end. I don't know if that's just me or, or what. And so I didn't feel like... like I thought the uh, like I thought Father Gascoigne was probably the most challenging fight. Because I feel like... I was still trying to sort of attain skill 
and I don't think I was using weaponry and armor that I was used to towards the end of the game. But um, it's quite fun. It's quite challenging. I was really excited for every boss fight to see what it is. You know, it's like you do a boss and it's a great big monster like the cleric beast and then the next one is a another hunter basically a human father gascoigne and and then later you fight a a big crow thing with swords and then you know it's like there's you, you fight a, a cerberus dog I, I love the variety of bosses i thought the level design was great very easy to get lost I usually have like a good sense of direction. Like when I play something like Minecraft, which is random every time. I don't know, there's something about that game where it's like, I know which way is home, I know which way this is. You know what I mean? And with this game, there's quite a bit of, oh god, how do I get back to this? Where is this? Where does this go? Um, but I did appreciate the level design. And the fact that it's virtually one big world. I, mean, I guess it was split into two sections. Like, it couldn't get to the Nightmare of Mensis from Yarnum, I don't think, could ya? It all connects. Um, at least every, you know, Yarnum connects to the forest, the forest connects to wherever. And especially when I had to, like, go back. I go for a door and so I come right back to the absolute very beginning of the game. <laughs> I love stuff like that. It does feel like the kind of game is a load of secrets. There's a lot of stuff I just stumbled upon. You know, like the start of this episode with the 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 crown. Um you know, in um the thing. Um the castle. You know, you go forth and, and it's like, oh now there's a cutscene. The, the summons, you know, all stuff like that. Um, yeah, you know, I don't know if there's anything written to say, like, you know, <laughs> here's how you unlock this. But I found it. I have to give a big thank you to uh, Gold Rose Main, she'll be my Bloodborne expert, um, explaining stuff to me. People in the chat as well, uh, in the comments below. Um, you know, they gave me tips, uh, and, and, you know, so I've, I've probably had more sort of interaction with people playing Bloodborne than any other game that I've played so far. That's pretty amazing. Um, again, if you've been here, if you've watched the whole thing, thank you so much. I'm hooked on the genre. I'm sure you want to see me play other games. So going to happen now. Good. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Was this the first cutscene? Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. It's been so long, I feel like this was the first cutscene. I mean, there is a temptation to play for it again. I really enjoyed it. And I think understanding a lot of the game and finding all the secrets is something that I would do when I've got, like, you know, when I can chill uh, after work and just sit down and play this. I think that's the sort of thing, uh, the sort of scenario when I'll, I'll probably sort of like, get the most out of this. There is a sort of... I don't want to say pressure, but when you're like recording it or streaming something. You know, you can't give like the game a hundred percent attention to you gotta sort of like talk, uh, things like that. And you know, it's sort of like it's, it's kind of hard to get into the full um immersion of a game maybe the cycle repeats itself 
You found yourself a hunter. Oh, that sounds like the uh, the doll, doesn't it? Oh, look at this, I got all my stuff. I got nearly quarter of a million blood echoes. I better not die to the first enemy. There is a temptation to uh, let the first enemy attack me. Just to see how much damage it does. But the question is, does everything scale up or what? I do need to, I just need to be attacked once. Well, I guess I could just attack it. One attack. Maybe it scales? Seems like it might scale. Kind of want to just continue with this. From <laughs> being on this. <laughs> As well, continue playing. I, I am a sucker for a new game plus, to be fair. See, there's that gate. Like, the whole time, I was like, how how do you get round there to open it? You've got to go a long way round. I would love... Like, I've always said, like, if I'm going to be involved in video games, I would love to be, like, someone who designs levels and things like that. I mean, apparently I didn't get this item until like near the end of the game, those four blood vials. I mean, to, to sort of play this now and have like an understanding of like... Oh, there's an enemy over there. Pretty sure. Oh, did see you. Okay, they do scale. Like, this isn't just... You know, this isn't just starting the game again. I like the enemy design. That was quite fun throughout. Um, I just feel perhaps the game needs to just explain I items a bit better. You know, do I have all my items here? I mean... I guess a lot of times you can just like... I mean, some of them are obvious there. Pro to create a miscloud prevents HP restoration. But it's like... The frenzy. Like, can I turn into a monster or something as well? Like, how does that work? I don't know. But at the same time, I don't want to use uh, stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't want to use stuff in case I... Uh... Like, can't get more of it. So it seems like, unless you can buy something, there's a finite amount of things. Let's go back to the hunter's dream. Yeah, I don't think it's an easy game for a new player to just jump into and sort of absorb everything. Yeah, especially, you know, it's been built built up as quite an intimidating game. The genre is quite an intimidating genre. But, again, I've tried my best to get into it. I've gone into it massively. There are a lot of questions. Um, yeah, there's a whole chalice dungeon thing. I'm sure I can make more videos doing chalice dungeons. You know, if someone wants to explain to me how the chalice dungeons work, I'll, I'll do some and I'll record it. It's the abandoned doll. Oh, I can get a, a weapon, can't I? What do I already have? Is 
saw cleaver, threaded cane, saw spear. Go on now, I'll, I'll just take a hunter's axe off you for free. And a blunderboss for free. There you are, you little shit. I've got every mind to kill you. Uh, bastard of Loran. Uh, I mean, I guess I've got all those marks in there, haven't I? So. There's no reason why I can't equip this stuff. Oh, what's the difference between these? What does shared fixed dungeon mean? You know, it's just those, those things that I need to know. God, it's up to 900 now, it's more expensive. Oh, it's a big ritual blood. Get the Hunter Chief emblem again, I suppose. Could buy the Kana stuff. Those are some big numbers. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I love the combat. Like, it feels great. It does feel like nine times out, well, 99 times out of 100. It's fair. It's just you screwed up. As I say, it's just that one battle against that king enemy with the crown on top of the rooftop of Kanehurst Castle I didn't like. That one felt more technical. And I won't even moan about like the rooftop thing. It's a bit crappy, but... You know, no harm done in the end. Um, yeah, like, you know, it, it makes me excited to play more. Um, comment down below what games you'd like to see me play. Are those like, I think there's a Dark Souls Remastered, isn't there? Obviously Elden Ring come out. I believe those games are like going to be similar to this. I know there's going to be like differences. Um, and then there's like other... Uh, um, uh, sort of Souls-like games out there that are made from different companies. Drop uh, a comment with some of your favourites below and maybe I'll, I'll play one of them next. I think I know which one I want to play next. Um, might not be right away. I think I know when I want to release the first video of it. So it might be a little bit of a break before we get to more of uh, these sort of games. Um, and yeah, and I guess that's it. Again, if you've been watching this from the very beginning, Thank you all so much. Really appreciate it. I've appreciated all the views, all the comments. Um, like, like Some of these videos have done quite well for me, so I know there's a lot of interest. Um, so I will play more. Not just because it's good for the channel, but because I enjoy, <laughs> I've enjoyed this. I really like this. Um, I feel like I'd give this a 9 out of 10, this game. I could see myself at some point replaying it for fun. Especially with New Game Plus. But I quite enjoy that. Too bad I've got a million other games to play through first though. So I have no time to play games to enjoy them. I have to <laughs> play so many and rush through them. No, I'm not going to rush through them. I take my time. I enjoy them. I'm enjoying things like Tears of the Kingdom. Um, Pikmin 4. Like you can see all those on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash at Chef um, All the videos you see on here, I'm replaying old games, I'm playing new games. I, I just love gaming, what can I say? Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye!